Major Google SEO Updates As an SEO expert, you should be able to explain the major Google SEO updates up until today. Not only so you can call yourself an SEO expert, but so you have an understanding of how Google works and how you can avoid getting penalized. The first thing you need to understand is that the goal of Google is to be able to deliver the best possible results to its users. They want their users to search Google and find exactly what they're looking for without having to look anywhere else. The first major update was called Panda. Panda first ran in 2011 and now runs a few times a year. Its purpose is to stop low quality content from appearing in search results. Low quality content is content that is poorly written. It is usually generated using a software. It's content that is very short and too brief to be valuable. Content that is copied from another page making it duplicate content. Low quality content can also be content that adds no real value. The next major update was Penguin. Penguin first ran in 2012 with the purpose of detecting unnatural backlinks, also known as Black Hat SEO. So, how does Penguin detect unnatural backlinks? It looks at the link quality, the link velocity, and the link diversity. Let's go into this in more detail. Link quality. Sites that have obtained their backlinks naturally will have both low and high quality links. On the other hand, sites that have not obtained their backlinks naturally will often have a lot of low quality links or only high quality links. Link velocity. Natural backlinks are created over time and the number of backlinks that are created slowly increase as the site grows. When sites have unnatural backlinks, they often get a lot of links in a short period of time, which is then followed by a sudden decrease. Link diversity. Natural sites obtain links from various places. For example, articles, blog commenting, forums, and so on. Unnatural sites often obtain a large number of links from a single place. Blog commenting, for example. Links should also have varied anchor text. Too many links with the same anchor text can trigger a penguin penalty. Mobile Geddon. Mobile Geddon first ran in 2015 with the purpose of ensuring that websites are mobile friendly. This is to accommodate for the massive growth in mobile users.